latest line integral taken round the positively oriented square C with these vertices by using the Stokes theorem. So we need to use the Stokes theorem and evaluate this integral. So let S be the region enclosed by so let S be the region enclosed by the square C and the vertices given to us is 1 0 negative 1 0 0 1 and 0 negative 1. So these are the vertices given to us. Let's plot the square. So 1 0 that is this point and then is negative 1 0 that means this point. Then is 0 1 that is this point and is 0 negative 1 this point. Let me name this as A and this is B and this is C and this is D. And joining A to B and then B to C and then C to D and then D to A and we are getting this to be a square. A, B, C, D, right? Alright, then this given integral can be written as because I need to use the Stokes theorem and for that I need the line integral of f vector dot product with dr vector. So for this, I can write this to be the dot product of x y i vector plus x y square j vector and taking its dot product with dx i vector plus d y j vector. Right? Let me take this as my f vector dot product with this is your dr vector. Now by Stokes theorem we know that this line integral is equal to the surface integral of curl of f vector dot product with n vector ds. Yes, this is by Stokes theorem. And let me mark this as 1. And now let's evaluate this integral. Now finding the curl of f vector and we have taken f vector to be xy i plus xy square j, right? So writing the first component of f vector that is xy. Writing here the second component of f vector that is xy square and third component is 0. Evaluating this. So this is i vector into partial derivative of 0 with respect to y is 0 minus partial derivative of this with respect to z is 0 minus j vector. Partial derivative of this with respect to 0 is 0 minus Partial derivative of this with respect to z is also 0 plus k vector. Partial derivative of this with respect to x is y square minus partial derivative of this with respect to y is x. So we are getting the answer for this curl of f to be y square minus x k vector. Now since the unit vector normal to this square is along the z axis, right? The unit vector normal to the square is along the z-axis. So we are taking this to be equal to k vector. Because it is along the positive z-axis, right? So taking n vector to be k vector. So this n vector is k vector. And now finding the dot product of curl of f vector with n vector. So this is equal to what is curl of f vector? We have found this to be y square minus x k vector. And its dot product with n vector is k vector. So when taking the dot product we get because dot product of k with k is 1. So this is y square minus x. And now evaluating the surface integral for this. Here ds is written. Okay. So this is equal to the surface integral of dot product for these two is y square minus x. Right? ds. And what is ds? It is dx dy. Right? So this is equal to the double integration of y square minus x dx dy. The limits of x is from negative 1 to 1. And the limits of y is from negative 1 to 1. So this is from negative 1 to 1. Both the limits. Now integrating this first with respect to x. We get the integration to be y square x minus x square by 2. So this is y square x minus x square by 2 with limits from minus 1 to 1 and here dy is written. So this is equal to when putting the upper limit for x we are getting this to be 
y square minus 1 divided by 2 and when putting the lower limit on x we get minus y square minus 1 by 2 dy so this is 2y square and minus half plus half will be cancelled out so this is equal to minus 1 to 1 this is 2y square dy taking this 2 outside of this integral now this is the even function so this integral will be changed into twice of the integration from 0 to 1 y square dy so this becomes 4 times and writing the integration for this that is y cube divided by 3 limits from 0 to 1 so this is equal to 4 divided by 3 putting the upper limit we get 1 minus putting the lower limit we get 0 so this is 4 divided by 3 so we have found the value for this surface integral to be equal to 4 divided by 3 so putting this value in 1 so from 1 we get the line integral over c xy dx plus xy square dy and we have found this to be equal to and this is equal to the surface integral of y square minus x ds and this value is equal to 4 divided by 3 here write using the Stokes theorem so we have evaluated this integral and the value is 4 divided by 3 okay thank you